Welcome back to Forge from Iron Iron Gatesy. Please don't forget to drop a like on the stream, subscribe to the YouTube channel, make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified of any new content as and when we upload it to the channel. This is the match day vlog for the match taking place today at London Stadium in the Premier League between West Ham United and Liverpool. Hopefully we can put out a strong team following on from the game midweek against Genk. So sit back, watch the uh, match day vlog, enjoy it, come on you irons. Here he is again, Bubbles, we got to get him in, got to get him in, collecting for the Bobby Moore Fund, doing his bit, he's the most He's the most popular person at this, well not a person obviously, but he's the most popular West Ham fan at the ground at the minute. Where's the Teams have been announced, it's pretty much what you'd expect from us, it's Fabianski, Cresswell, Ogbonna, Zuma, Johnson, Rice the captain, Socek, Ben Rama, Fournells, Bowen and Antonio for Liverpool. It's Allison, Robertson, Van Dijk, Matty, Alexander-Arnold, Fabinho, Oxlade-Chamberlain, Jordan Henderson, their captain, Mane, Salah and Jota up front. It's going to be a really tough game. We're going to need to be at it. We start like we did against Gank. We've got, the game's going to be over. We, they're going to cut us to shreds. So we need to make sure that we play to our absolute maximum for us to have any, any chance of getting even a point in this match, let alone three. Come on, you irons. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep. Though poppies grow in Flanders fields.
delivery. Possible foul, yeah. Here we go. It's the one thing I hate about VAR. The fucking waiting around and not knowing. Now they're checking it for handball. Are you for real? Couldn't find a foul, so let's let's just see if we can find a handball now to chalk it off. Typical fucking big six bias. <laughs> fucking have that. The goal is good. Ah, uh, fucking Jurgen Klopp, look at him. Mickey! for limited periods you can't be doing that
Twist of a massive everywhere we go. Discipline. Get out. Well done. Come on, Mickey. Because it's not the uh, down this end. Oh. Yeah, no, give that. You fucking yeah, wait. yeah, wait. you fucking would, wouldn't you? You fucking would. Can't wait. Shit house referee. chance that you want to give him? This world cup is the world cup. It's a fucking Merseyside this ref, honestly. <laughs> Top six bias, not much. Jesus. We can't do that. You can't! 
wanker.
3-2. This game may not be over. Boys pin him in. Get up to him, Arthur! Fuck's sake! just what the referee is now adding.
ever blowing bubbles, pretty bubbles in the air. United! United! Come on, you irons! What have we just seen at London Stadium? West Ham 3, Liverpool 2. Absolutely magnificent performance. Those of you that saw my segment on Have Your Say yesterday will know that I was calling for a performance from the team that said, we're not here to make up the numbers. We're here to get in your face and we're going to fight. We will fight you and you need to come with your A game to get anything from us. And today we came with our A game, A+. Plus. And we, not, we matched them and we bettered them on the score sheet. Jurgen Klopp on the touchline, moaning and groaning. Love to see that when the opposition manager starts doing that. He's rattled. You got him. You got him. Something really special is happening at West Ham right now under David Moyes. I'm, I will be 46 next month. I, I'm struggling to think of too many times where I've seen a West Ham team. In fact, we're, we're in the same season. We've beaten Tottenham, Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool. And if you want to throw in Leicester as well, who are a team that operates towards the top end of the league in the last couple of seasons. We're, t we're, we're really turning in some magnificent performances and getting some really good results here. David Moyes has got a team that is greater than the sum of its parts. He's he's a manager that's come in at West Ham. He had a battered reputation, to be fair. The experience at Manchester United, Saucier Dad, Sunderland. He's come in with a point to prove, and boy, has he proved it. There was a few people that, came, that when he came in the second time around and he turned around and said, winning is what I do that sniggered. I don't hear them laughing now. Two weeks ago, I turned around and said, don't be shocked if next season we're playing Champions League football. I dare say quite a few people, their ears pricked up and a few people stifled a few sniggers. I don't think they're going to be sniggering now. We're up to third in the Premier League and we deserve to be there. Trust me, we deserve to be there. We've just beaten a team. Let's not, let's not say it for anything other than what it is. We've just beaten one of the form teams in European football that has arguably the most informed player in European football, in Mo Salah. And we've just turned them over. Mo Salah was quite ineffective. He was shackled very effectively by Aaron Cresswell, Kurt Zuma, Angelo Ogbonna, then later Craig Dawson. They all managed to keep him shackled. Declan Rice did his shift as well. He was pretty ineffective. And Liverpool had spells in the game where they came into it and had periods of dominance. But we weathered the storm. We're resilient. We're courageous. And we will not stop until that final whistle is over. And I am so, so proud to be a West Ham fan right now. I cannot tell you. I've had so many years where I've had fans of other clubs, Manchester United, Tottenham, Arsenal, and Liverpool themselves, you know, fans of other clubs, turning around to me and saying, why do you support West Ham? They're rubbish. They never win anything. Well, they've gone very quiet all of a sudden. And someone else, some another little thing I want to get off my chest while I'm talking, another group of people I want to have a little bit of a, a dig at, those people in the media, sports pundits, broadcast journalists, former players, that last season when the COVID was happening, was all turning around and saying, well, this is a West Ham team that's playing, they've got no fans there that would drag them down, that would be a little bit of a, a negative force and all the rest of it. All of the, the stuff that they came out with, It'll be different when there's 60,000 on there getting on their backs and all the rest of it. Well, let me tell you something. We've been in that stadium for a good few games in both Premier League, 
League Cup and European competitions. And even in the two games that we witnessed in front of us against Brentford and Manchester United that we lost, the atmosphere was nothing short of exceptional. The team got maximum support from all of the West Ham fans that were in those gr the ground on those days. And I can't hear any of these pundits. I can't hear any of these broadcast journalists. I can't hear any of these ex-players coming out now and saying, do you know what? I got it wrong and I've got to hold my hands up. They've just gone very quiet and hope that we've forgotten what they said. Well, I haven't forgotten. And I know a lot of West Ham fans that haven't forgotten. We've got long memories. We know. We know who you are. We remember that you just wrote off what we achieved last season in finishing uh, six, three points off of a Champions League spot. You all turned around and went, it'll all be different when the fans are in the ground. Gone very quiet from these people all of a sudden. We're in third on merit. We're going to be in the next round of the Europa League and things are looking good. But David Moyes won't rest on his laurels, trust me. He will be making sure that this team understands that you're only as good as your last game. And fair enough, our last game, we've just beaten Liverpool 3-2. But we need to keep working. And David Moyes won't keep his foot off the pedal. He'll keep it put pushed down. And this team will keep working and proving people wrong. And I want to make also special, special praise to Ben Johnson, who I thought was absolutely exceptional today. I think the man of the match was Pablo Fornells, in my opinion. He was absolutely excellent. Declan Rice goes without saying. Kurt Zuma, Saeed Ben Rama, Mikel Antonio, even. You know, we, there wasn't a player today in Claret and Blue that I could say didn't put in a shift. They were all important components, all important cogs within the West Ham machine right now. As I say, this is a team that is greater than the sum of its parts. If you look at West Ham against Liverpool player for player, individually, there's not too many players that you would put in the Liverpool team would replace a Liverpool player with a West Ham player. Would you replace Mo Salah with Jared Bowen? Of course you wouldn't. Would you replace Sadio Mane with... Pablo Fornells, of course you wouldn't. Don't be daft. But, as a cohesive unit, this is a team that is going places. And could it just be that that place is the Champions League next season? Do I dare to dream? You're damn right I do. Come on, you irons! Come on, you irons!